It's Tuesday, March 1st, coming up live on The View. Actress Nia Long is our special guest co-host weighing in on hot topics. From the new batch of celebs dancing with the stars this season, to which pop star gave their million-dollar paycheck from Gaddafi to charity, and which ones haven't yet. And Joy has a huge, life-changing announcement she's making today. Then, our viewers have been dying to know how Elizabeth keeps her bod so buff. So she's taking you along on her workout and revealing her secrets to staying in shape. Then, Harry Connick Jr. is revealing why he didn't wind up sitting at the judges' table on American Idol and if he plans on returning to mentor the students this season. And we're taking you on a coast-to-coast -coast tour of the best places in America to buy houses right now that give you the most bang for your buck. And you won't believe how much house you can get for your money. All that, hot topics and more, coming up live on The View. Right here is actress Nia Long. She's our guest co-host today, and we're going to talk to her in one minute. But first, Joy Behar <laughs> has a brilliant announcement to make. Please, Joy. Well, <laughs> I didn't get married. Oh. oh. So, <laughs> That's what we thought it was. But my daughter had a baby last night. <laughs> Luca, Luca. So he's like Italian. It's like, yeah. Oh, Already, he's doing how much this. Did he weigh? He's a thinking he man. Seven pounds. Oh, seven nice. Pounds. nice. He doesn't oh. cry. He cried less than John Boner and Glenn Beck put together. <laughs> and uh, that's, you know, here he is. How you feel oh, as a congratulations. Okay, I like it. I want to see him every day now. What is he going to oh, call you? I don't know. What should he call me? I was thinking, skinny bitch. <laughs> Should I send in some else. suggestions. You guys send in some suggestions. There's only a few four. possibilities. What about, okay, what? Uh, Mama. Nana Joy. Nana, Nana, Nana Joy. Wow. Nana, Joy. Nana, Nana, that's what I call my grandma, Nana. Uh, yeah. It's kind of sounds like a cow, though. Yeah, Nana. <laughs> Nana Joy. Nana. <laughs> the Italian for it is Nona. No, no, no. Grand Joy. Nona. We call my grandmother Madeer. Oh, Madeer. Madeer. I need a young Madeer. Oh, Madeer. 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 I thought he said Madeer. Madeer is the one who killed all her children, so I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, mean, if I need some young. That's my why mom, skinny my bitch. My mom that's is a, a Tati. <laughs> Tati. Her name's Talita. Tati. My son at two said, um, I'm going to call you Tati. See, it's Tati. funny. In my uh, as experience, Tati's are these. Well, <laughs> she's got these. And you got those. Oh, you got the Tata. Ta you got the Tata. Ta That's good. Ta -ta. I like Tata. Ta -ta. I don't know if you want to be called Tata. -ta. <laughs> yeah, because I think Steve calls you Tata's that. Tata's so home. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. listen, we're going to be talking about this, you know, forever. Yeah. Uh, you know. You know, I like how I kept it a secret, though. It's very beautiful how much you did it. And I... And we, well, my daughter said, do not talk about this baby until it's born. I said, okay. Right. That's, mm -hmm. And you, you did the right you know, thing. We're all scared happy. of our daughters. You know, they'll kill us. <laughs> we're scared of that. Because you, you don't want to be cut off. Yes. You don't want to be cut off. No, get she gets, she gets, I'm no. not scared. No, no, no. She no, would never cut me off. No, no. Well, if you don't say it, because you know when you, when you say something, you're like, oh, Alex is well, going to Because there's certain things. If, if, I, if she says to me, listen, I, I don't really want you to continuously to talk about this. Yeah. I say, okay, and I try to be respectful. Periodically, I'll slip up, and I know that she has asked me not to, and I've done it anyway. But it's but, hard because you she's know. your baby. Well, I it's hard because time, we too. talk about this stuff, and sure some of my experiences are a little different <laughs> than everybody yeah. else's. So they sort of strike up a, a conversation. But shoot, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It was easy yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. No. no. I mean, oh, the pain. There was no pain it's involved. It's the greatest already. thing yeah. about being a grandmother. You go by the door and you go, ah, and you keep on rolling. That's the way it is. And your daughter's like, could you come over here? And you say, up. Oh, you know what? I'm just on my way to the store, hon. And you go. 
and she has to take care of the baby. It's really fantastic. But Nia, yes, yes. Nia, you have been my baby. Yes. You have been my child at one point. We go way back. I played her mother in 1993 wow. in a film called Made in America. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah, we were good looking. We were some good looking great. women. You yes, we good. were. Can I tell you something, Whoopi? And I have to say this in front of the world. Whoopi said to me in the elevator after the audition, where I went in five times, she said, You know, you got the job. And I was like, What? She tells me in the elevator. Yeah. We go on set. I have this fantastic experience with her. And she says to me, You're going to be great, but you need to develop a second layer of skin. And all my, these, all these years I've been going, is it here yet? Is it here yet? <laughs> and when you turn 40 and everything balances out and you've been in this business the way that I have in all of these years, it never left my mind. And I thank you and I love you. Oh, and now God. I know what it means to have that second layer of skin. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah. But well, you're in a movie right now, right? You're in a movie called Muslim. Muslim. Mus Muslim is the name of her new movie, which yes. the New York Times just gave an incredible review. Muslim. Yes. M O O. It's it's the the writer is Muslim, oh. and he purposely named it Muslim because so many people mis say, oh. mispronounce yeah. the name. Muslim is wrong. It did yes. get great reviews. It did get great reviews. What's it about? We, it's about a Muslim American mu Muslim American family, uh -huh. um, pre and post 9 11. Mm, African okay. American family with right. Evan Ross. So and it's such a timely topic. And we did this sort of <coughs> deal with AMC where we did our own distribution. Right, right, right. And so you can go to the ABC um, website and go check us out. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. She's a really fabulous actress. I just can say that because she's my child. Um, <laughs> and you also, now you're a mom. I am a mom. Wow. My son, my How son, old is, baby? My oh, son is 10. He's 10 years old. And he's ten. just yeah. high mass. He's awesome. You're going through it. You, you single mom. I'm a single mom. I get up every morning. There are no nannies. There are no housekeepers. There are no drivers. I get up every morning. I cook the breakfast. I make the lunch. I drive him to carpool in my, my pajamas. Girl. So you're like every American mother. I'm like every American mother. You know what's mom. interesting too? Because I mean, I look at all of your stories, and I, I feel like I'm so dependent on Tim. You know, especially in the situations of discipline, where you know, one one you kind of tend to balance each other out, yeah, right? Absolutely. So the role of both of those right now for you, that's well, got to be go one of the, the trickier kills. parts. Uh, well, you know, his father is amazing. I have mm -hmm. to say that. His dad is amazing. But what I realized is when I was in my 20s, I didn't value marriage and relationships in a traditional sense because I didn't see that example. So and I you're, thought... You mean growing up. I'm growing up. Okay. My parents were divorced. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm 30. It's time to have a child. I'm going to do it my way. And now that I'm 40, I'm like, where is the man to help? Right. You know, where's the guy that's going to show him certain things? To show him certain things. I think that having a, a husband in the picture to help discipline is, a, is wrong. I like no. it better. I don't want anybody else's opinion. <laughs> well, well, I, was just, I, I just got a question for you. You had a man that you, you had a, a man help you make this baby, and you're saying you don't want his when opinion. When it comes to disciplining and all those little you things. But see, but men, well, the moms do most of the work anyway. Yeah. Let's be real. But the man creates the yin and the yang. I can stand up for some of the dads here because I think it depends. Obviously, unique situation depending, but I think dads definitely do step up in the case of something that you don't that that women do. But I'm saying on the daily routine, we are usually the ones who set the tone. We are usually the ones that put the schedule out, and and you know, and the men back us up. Like a backup, like a little backup. It's like it is good. We need, there's both. The, we need the uh, You do backup. need both. I yes, think it does absolutely. depend. I think more and more guys actually right now, based on economics, et cetera, and jobs, have They're been stepping home. up Very more true. than well, we've ever different. seen in an active role We need them for the that. Life. We need them to hook up the VCR also. And no, fix the holes in the drywall. Our disciplining and conversations you feel like that. Joy should be on a planet and it just should be just like all these Amazon women and the men are slaves. That works for me, too. I don't even know what to say about this entire conversation. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You know, men have their place. I love them. I like them a lot. Yeah. But, you know, when it comes down to it, learn to do the VCR yourself. Right. Okay. Yeah, you do. And also, you have to. No, you do. Because, no, because you have to. I, I don't know. I was raised by a woman who taught me that... An, it's wonderful to have someone who can do it, yeah. but it's much better if you know how to do it yourself and you don't have to wait 
for them to come around and do it. That was her. Goes, but you know what? Oh, they can now, write those instructions down for me. <laughs> yes. I just ran out of time. Yeah. As, as we, just we just did. We just, we just oh, we're we did time. the same thing. <laughs> we're out of time. But you know what? We're coming right back. We'll back. Just because we'll that's away. the way we are. Go on now. Go on. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars announced who is competing in season 12. Sherry. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> uh, Kirstie Alley, Sugar Ray Leonard, Ooh, he's cute. Kendra Wilkinson, Heinz Ward from the Pittsburgh Steelers, <laughs> Petra Nemkova, she yeah. was a model who survived the tsunami, That's right. uh, pro wrestler Chris Jericho, Lil mm -hmm. Romeo, oh. Chelsea Kane, and Wendy Williams oh, is doing oh, Dancing with the Stars. Oh, Williams. This is good because I get a little inspiration because Kendra. <laughs> Yeah. Kendra, Kirsty, and, Will, and uh, Wendy, they all got the big boobs. So I want to see how they handle with, dancing with the with big those boobs. Because <laughs> if they can do it, then I know well, maybe some inspiration. The only one who gained weight was Bristol Palin. The rest of them all lose weight on that show. <laughs> oh my God. Is it too soon for favorites? It probably it's not is. Too soon. No, you, who, right who now, you're the favorites. I think. Sugar I think. Uh, you think Sugar Ray? Athletes always do well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, athletes always do well. I think. I think Wendy. She's got some rhythm. He's not a tall guy either. He's a little weight, right? Little. Kendra, she was a Playboy model. So she was used to like getting on the floor and taking it off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Facebook oh. fan page. So if it, uh, oh. now, wait, 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 wait. Finally. Will you find me? Here's the thing. Here's, here's what's important to know. You can find out anything I'm doing, what's going on, everything that there is to know. I don't know how you do stuff. So you can come if you want to know more about the page. It is the, it is the only page that I have put out. So anything else that you see that has my name on it is not me. And for all those fake Twitter accounts, there are eight of them. Yeah. None of them. Not one of them is me. So if you want to, like, let me know what you're thinking, go to my Facebook page. And if you go to the uh, View website, they will direct you, you to the something? official page. You don't put out any good pictures on Facebook, those real salacious pictures. <laughs> and everybody, <laughs> the sexy pictures will be on Facebook. <laughs> Pictures on Facebook, you know, the pictures of the We want a lot of nudity. We want to take your clothes off. You do. We're not out of No, no, no. You are a teenager. Well, because you've got a bunch of dunk dunk like nobody's And now, a word from our sponsor. Okay, here goes. When I heard about Avon's line of anti aging skincare products called In New and how it can help you visibly outsmart aging at any stage of your life, even when you're a grandmother, I wasn't buying into the hype. But then I remembered a set of twins. I'd met recently, and I asked them to stop by, and they're here today. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for coming, oh. girls. Now, <laughs> yes. Now, you two claim to be twin sisters, but frankly, I don't see it. Are you really twins? Yes, Joy. Not, Not only are we, are we twins, twins, we're, we're identical, identical twins. twins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you really say you're identical? Absolutely. I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't see it. I don't see identical. Yes. Call Absolutely. me crazy. But you see, I use Avon's anti-aging skincare line, and you, but my twin sister here doesn't. Very interesting. But let me give you two gals a little piece of advice, okay? Drop the twin thing, okay? It's not working. You know, we're just joking here, right? <laughs> <laughs> But the fact, and I love the hair, it's wonderful. The fact is, Avon's a new skincare line really can help you achieve younger looking skin. So, whether you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, your 80s, or your 100, Avon's a new has a skincare routine for you. And for today, only viewers at home log on to our website to find out how you could be one of 15,000 people to win a free two-week kit of your choice. And guess what else, of course? Members of our audience are also taking home a new skincare kit. When we come back, Elizabeth is taking you to the gym to show you how she stays in such fabulous shape. That's we'll right. be right back. us emails and letters because they are dying to know after having three, three kids, Elizabeth manages to keep her body in such awesome shape. So I'm going to turn to you and say, how do you do it, Lizzie? Well, I, I mean, a couple of things. I think I, I run, obviously, right. and I do a set of like 30 exercises twice a week I and I stretch run. and I do core work. I run two days of distance, two days of sprints on one day at like three miles. And how so can I we do that if we don't want to do but, that? Well, <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm show you just in case. There you go. Take a look. Have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy the view. Show's done. I have about two hours between now and when I need to be at school pickup, and this is where the workout begins. Now, there's a big chance I lose motivation between here, dressed up like this, and downstairs. So I gotta stay focused. Come on. I should get my workout in, right? I should get my workout in, right? I should get my workout in, right? Should I get my workout in? Yeah. Karen, I should work out today, right? Yes, please. Okay, good, thanks. Rosa, I should work out, right? Yes. Thank you. I should get my workout in now, right, Steve? Yeah, oh yeah, you got it. Yeah. Jason, good time for a workout, right? Okay, is it time to work out? Of course it is. Okay, great. I'll be out in 10 minutes. If I'm not out here, bang on the door and tell me it's time to work out. Okay. Here we go. Had a snack, had some water, 
and I'm finally motivated to get this done. Woo. I'm out. No rides for me today. I'll see you there. Okay, here I am at the Alden. The La Palestra gym is downstairs. I am just in time for my workout with Pat. Come on. Oh, oh no, locked. <laughs> we'll take this one. Pat Minocchia, everybody. Today we're gonna do the quarter mile repeats again, six times this week. Go. This is the talking stops. Yes, talking stops now. Pick up your feet. Keep your knees back, your head is not moving. Ready? Go. Number two. Go. You're up. That's it. How many is that? That's three. Okay, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Don't try this at home, kids. Okay. We are all we are all tired. We are all speechless. So we 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 got okay. Joining us is Elizabeth's trainer and the owner of La Palestra, Pat Monacchia. How yeah. are you? Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay. <laughs> 45 minutes nonstop this girl was working. Now, you call this a strength training program that yes. it, it, it addresses the entire body. So can you tell to lift a building? Yeah. <laughs> if I needed to, I, I need you to tell us what this means and how is this different from just any other regular workout? Well, you know, unfortunately, strength, the connotation of strength has to do with muscles, right? Strength just doesn't have to do with muscles. It has to do with you as a person, what you are. Like, what you see with Elizabeth when she works like that is her commitment to the work. Mm -hmm. You benefit not only muscularly, but you benefit as a person. When you're here, you're all here. Your hamstrings, the relationship with your mother, mm -hmm. you know, how much sleep you got. And so what, what we work when we do things like this is really an integrated system of how to train. Okay, now, are you saying someone who does that is superior in some way? <laughs> no, but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what they are. They're, they're, they're a little happier. Yeah. It's really? Enough. Well, yeah. Yes. What, 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 I mean, aren't they so chipper no, here? Come on. Well, what yeah. separates no. a person who, like her who, who commits to a, uh, a program like this from a regular person who just wants to eat chips and watch TV? <laughs> well, you know, you can... I mean, I'm not saying... I don't appreciate that. <laughs> You did that, Sherry. No, what, okay, okay. <laughs> members, I just want to say, members of our audience, you guys are going home with a copy of Pat's yeah. book, Anatomy of Strength Training. We're going to be right back with Harry Connick Jr.
estate meltdown last year had everyone rethinking how much home they can really afford, but right now you can get a whole lot of house for a lot less money than you think if you know where to look. Here to tell us the best places in America to buy a home is the author of Before You Buy, Michael Corbett. Welcome. Hey, and you know what? If people are looking at you, trying to place that great face, Ryan's Hope and the Young and the Restless is the answer to your question. Yeah, now, now, now I'm on extra. Now you're on extra <laughs> as a real estate expert, so let's be restless no more and go shopping. You're going to start with some of the most affordable cities, starting with Oklahoma City. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me tell you why we picked these. These are all from the four most affordable list, and what that is is because it's it's cities that actually have low cost of housing, great quality of life, mm -hmm. and also very much uh, good uh, good employment opportunities. Okay. And also, Oklahoma is a city that has actually remained pretty stable all really? through this. Okay. Not like prices have dumped. They've actually been pretty stable. So right. here's a house. Good. Look at this. It's oh, three wow, bedrooms, wow. two and three quarter that. baths. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Two thousand square feet. Look at that. And it's 189. We're all moving wow. Oklahoma City. Right now. Oh my God. Yeah. take us to is Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville. Love Nashville is a great yes. city, very affordable, cultural capital, a lot of entertainment, obviously, that mm -hmm. goes on there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a really good, healthy city. And here's That's another adorable. house, 290,000. Wow. It's 2,100 square feet, four bedrooms, oh. three baths, great open floor oh, plan. Open floor. Yeah. There really are wonderful deals well, out that there. That covered porch is great with it's the a real, Yeah, too. a really nice that. property. Minneapolis, St. Paul. Okay, Minneapolis. Uh, Minneapolis, yeah. wonderful city because it's got great schools, great universities. And Prince is from there. And also, it's one of those cities where it's very, very uh, job-based. Yeah. It's based in a lot of education yeah. and medical. So the weather's a little rough. Though, the weather, but, not yeah. so but great. But, just as bad. For, but for yeah. 289 yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's no worse than New York. So look at that. That's 2,300 square feet. It was built wow. in 2010. Oh, it's beautiful. It's on a half acre, four bedrooms, three and three quarter that. baths. It's wow. uh, uh, really, for well, the value, me with you. that's exactly. it. We're all, we're, we're all going. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it. You actually brought a game for us. Okay, right? now so we're going to play a game. Tell us about this. Okay. You're going to actually see how much yeah. money we can get, what, right? What we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you a property, mm. and then you're each going to guess how much you think it is. It could be anywhere from Omaha to the Hamptons. Okay. okay. So oh, well, we're going to start trick. off with you, yeah, That's Joy. the trick. Your first, Joy. Location, all right. location. Joy, Joy, you're first. Joy is up. All right, okay. here we go. The first one is a really big, beautiful house. This one is almost 4,000 square feet, five baths, three, five bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's got a game room, crown molding. Why don't you take a guess? I'm not going to tell you where it is. Look at, where, guess. Look at the land What do you it. think? Well, just that based on the square footage that you shared with us on the other houses, mm -hmm. this is double the square footage. Mm -hmm. It's a very well built house. I would say that that one's at least. Depending on the location, it could be at five hundred thousand, yeah. or it could be four million dollars. Okay, you gotta, uh -huh. you gotta make a so, choice. All right, I'll make <laughs> a choice. Six hundred thousand dollars. Okay, you know what? It's three ninety nine ninety nine. Where in Dallas? It's in Flower Mound, Texas. Amazing. Wow. We could all live in that house. Wow. That house in the Hamptons. Okay, sure, you're next. Okay, I'm next. Okay, here's the next one. This one is five bedrooms. Gorgeous. Five bathrooms. Wonderful. Granite countertops, media room, beautiful outdoor kitchen also, and this also has a wonderful salt water pool. Oh, my God. Salt water. Okay. So it's good for your skin. There you go. Skin sauce. What do you, what do you say? Take you know a guess. what? God, a lot Could of trees, a lot of greenery. What's the footage? Square it's, footage. It's, this is around. This is almost the same square same. footage almost as the other. Four thousand. Four thousand. You know what? I'm gonna say uh, two million five. Oh, you know you're so close. You really are. This was four ninety nine ninety five. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> The, and this thing? house, in this Atlanta. house is in Atlanta, also. Nice. So, in Atlanta? Great well, city, great town. which yeah. is a yeah. great yeah. town. Oh, great town. Okay. Whoopi, Whoopi, you're next. next. A lot of traffic. All right, everywhere. here we go. This one, it's a starter home. Oh, it's cute. Everybody. But this is really nice. It's 720 square feet. <laughs> It's two, it's two bedrooms, oh, one bath. This house in the Hamptons, $4 million. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely true. 90000 90000 You know Look what? You're door. actually pretty close. It's $59,000 wow. in Louisville, Louisville. Kentucky. Wow. And again, a very affordable city. Done, it's yeah. about 80 grand, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So, I know you've been excited to guess. Go ahead. Okay, so this is my favorite house okay. that I have found to bring to you guys. Oh! 
I love this wow, house. Okay, beautiful. this is 6,000 square I'm feet. I'm uh, yeah, I'm, we're all moving Bring there. Six yeah. bedrooms, four <laughs> and a half so baths. And nice. if your relatives are visiting, you don't want them in the house, it's got a carriage house. Oh, we wow. love that. So, all right. I'm going to say. This is a big house. 4.7. 4.7 million. You know what? Yeah. That's very close. It's five hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. Buffalo in Buffalo. 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 It's close to Canada, but it's nice. It's nice. Is it nice? Okay. Basic, number really one, cold. Number one tip if you're buying a Great. home right now. No matter now. where you're buying, here's yeah. what. This is what I write about. This is what I really profess: is that you have to buy something that's affordable for you. Right. right. How do you do it? Put 20% down, get a fixed rate mortgage, That's and right. if you go to the bank and they say, you can afford 300000 say no thank you. Buy a $250,000 yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. Protect yeah. yourself, because if you don't do it, no one else is going to do it for you. Our thanks to Michael Corbett. Hey, everyone's financial situation is different. Please consult your own advisor for advice geared to your particular circumstances. Members of our audience are going home with a copy of Michael's book before you buy. We just decided that we have to, that Steve is going to have to be called Seg. <laughs> Spousal oh. equivalent grandpa. Yes. Seggy. Seggy. But Seggy. this woman said I should be called I'm... Glamma. Oh, I'm yeah. Glamma. Yeah. Well, from all of us, Nia, thank you so much thank for co-hosting. The rest of you have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy the view.